Hey y'all, this is Kevin with Lazy Pond Farm. Today I'm going to show you guys how to band a sheep. This guy here is coming up on eight weeks old. Not supposed to band them past eight weeks without uh, a little bit of pain medicine. So we usually let ours go uh, seven to eight weeks. They seem to grow better if they haven't been banded. So we let them go until they're almost weaned and then we'll band them. So this guy here, we're going to try and get both testicles ready here, kind of pulled down a little bit. I'm going to put our band on the bander. You're going to want to seat this all the way close to the abdomen and make sure you have both testicles fully seated. We've got both testicles through. We want to be up close to the abdomen. We'll let that go and slip the band off the bander. Just kind of double check that it's seated. Both testicles are out of the band and it's nice and tight to the abdomen. And this guy is ready to go. The reason we like to band our sheep, our lambs here, is that I'll keep these guys until they are probably a year or so old. And if they're not banded, they'll be able to breed their mothers as we tend to let them stay together. It's a lot less to worry about if they can all hang out together uh, instead of keeping them all separate. So banding them, make sure they can't uh, breed back their mothers or their sisters. And also, a lot of people say the meat tastes better, so if someone buys buys this guy at auction for slaughter, it'd be a better tasting cut of meat. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. So same thing, I'm going to kind of make sure the testicles are dropped low in his scrotum. Open the bander up. Slide them through here. Make sure we're close to the abdomen and both testicles are through, drop low in the scrotum. Release this band. Get it off of here. Once again, just kind of checking that the band is up tight to the abdomen and both testicles are dropped down good in the scrotum. And then this guy's ready to go. Thank y'all for joining us today. Now me and James are going to head over to the shop, clean up a few traps, and get them ready for next year's trapping season. If you're interested in trapping, hunting, or fishing, check out our sister channel, Lazy Pond Farm Hunt and Fish, linked right here. This is Kevin, signing off.